Hi guys, I hope everyone is doing great. So, as you may see, I'm not in, at the same place as other videos, but that's something else. But today I will show you something really exciting. So, these are new cages. I was talking a lot about making upgrades for the ball pythons there and they are there normally. So this is it. This is 150 by 50 by 50 so centimeters so this is a 5 by 1.8 by 1.8 feet with place for a certain cage hammer here and there with UVB People won't like this one, but that's how it works with me best, I think, and I have a lot, so yeah. And I make a whole upgrade about it. I will talk about the substrate. I'm super, super, super excited about that. I was not used to that stuff, so a lot of you knows that, but me not. So I'm here, and if it stays here, so sorry, the glass is not 100% okay. So the substrate is the go for coco the normal one so the big one and the small one is a bit there i mixed a bit because here is also go for coco and the other one also i'll show you that later so this is pretty much the enclosure you know hides there hides here branch plants uv uv is an experience for me because People say they don't need it, but I think it can be a great idea to add some. So I will open this one too. Here we are. Hide, hide, here, cork, stuff. And this is PVC, by the way, if you don't know the, the brand, I am cages, they make extremely cool PVC cages. This is also the cork so i need to humidify maybe a bit this one or not to make an experience and there the smaller one i will show you this is i received these ones like two days ago and i'm super happy with it so this, i need to find a place for that because i put it here so i can see it but it don't, doesn't stick there so that's pretty old hides by that one is here as you can see everyone's there so branch back to the OG branch out as branch and that's pretty all about these enclosures some trick I did so I don't have to put my whole hand on my thing on the glass is these things these come from plants they don't stick on the whole on the wall on the walls but they stick on glass so here it is so I can use it so maybe what I will do I will oh wait here ventilation there at the back there is some if you can see it there the whole the whole enclosure has some here same there this is super lightweight this is super cool this is an amazing stuff i don't have any yes i think i have some pictures of how it was packed that was amazingly packed thanks i am cages for those stuff for this stuff this is extremely great i will show you the and the, the the substrate this is the small one so this is go for cocoa there is no dust in it nothing they you know i believe because jean francois is one of my is someone i know and i believed in him but it states marketing to be honest with you so i wanted to try i tried this is this needs to dry a bit so that's why I, it's already there and i said i had a surprise for you on the Nemean video so i will show you the surprise so the surprise is right in here so this is a new enclosure when i moved uh, the other one was broken so we bought this one that's pretty the history of it here so this is a bit more dry 
as you may see this is a bit drier and here is the surprise the picture if I don't I don't know if I can show you her if I can this would be awesome she is a baby corn snake she is my baby, my, my small princess. She is my first, she is my third corn snake. I had others, link of the video is right here in the corner. But that's pretty old. So this is also a glass enclosure. She will stay in there alone for six or eight months then a meal or maybe a year and then a meal will come in it that will be her age but in a year or something like this and the other i don't know but that was that's pretty it. so guys very short video about the enclosures maybe i will do another one about it after some weeks or months by the way, I hope you like, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and I hope to see you. Don't forget to support USARC and don't forget to join the group Brian Stay Strong, Stay Strong Brian, also from Brian Warchek. And also, don't forget to, to join Brickless and Exotic Pets group and I hope to see you on the next one.